So in this video, we're gonna talk about the quickest way to get started in property. So in this video, I'm gonna give you the system that you need to know so you can go and get houses completely free of charge where you can really start to scale your property portfolio. My name's Liam Ryan, I'm the co-founder of Assets for Life, and what I now do is I grow property portfolios and I train people like you to become financially free. If you're new to this channel, please hit subscribe and the like and notification bell and stay tuned for more videos as I release brand new content every single week. So what I like to do from time to time is just have a little drive around my local area and just scout out some property, see if there's anything on the market that's looking good, um, see if there's anything that's looking undervalued. And I've just found a couple of properties for sale uh, here in the Chelmsford area, which is where I live. And what we've found over the last few months is that property prices have started to fall slightly, which is really good news because we can get more properties now cheaper than we could six or 12 months ago. So, hey, come with me. Let's have a look what's down the street and I'll talk you through this three-step model so you can get houses for free. So it's really important that when you come out and do your viewings, you have your pen and paper with you and you have your checklist so you can make some notes as you walk around the property. Now, what I want to be doing is finding properties which I can pick up below market value, BMV. And what I want to do is I want to add value. So step one of this model is what we call buy. And you obviously want to go out to agents, direct to vendor, look on all the portals and get yourself on lots of viewings and really build relationships with your agents and start scouting Rightmove and Zoopla and really become quite obsessed with trying to find properties where you can add value. Now, you make your money when you buy and as long as you buy at the right price in the right location where there's the right demand, this is how you're going to add value to the asset and when you add value through the model i'm going to talk you through this is how you can get houses for free yeah. so step one we're talking about buying assets now you might be thinking well liam it sounds good but i haven't got any bloody money hey you don't need your own money in order to buy property you can use opm other people's money how do you do this it's called Raising Joint Venture Finance. I'm actually a best-selling author. I've got a book, Bricks More to Another People's Money. Uh, somewhere in the description below, there's a link. Click on the link. You can get my best-selling book absolutely free of charge, and it will teach you how to go and raise joint venture finance. I've been able to build a 12.6 million pound property portfolio using other people's money. So if you're in a position now where you've got no cash, do not worry because there's trillions of pounds in the world and raising money is relatively easy to do once you know how. So step two in this three-step model on how to get started in property the quickest way possible is to focus on properties that need to be refurbished. So step one is buy, step two is refurbish. And what you wanna do is find properties maybe like this one i'm just having a look outside um you know there's a bit of wear and tear on the outside here uh, i'm not too sure what it's like inside i'll be making some inquiries and uh, looking at the property at some point uh, over the next one or two days and what you want to do is buy property that needs some tlc and you want to go in and add value and you want to use the model whereby for every pound you spend, you can get a three pound return there or thereabouts. So if you spend £10,000, you want to be adding at least £30,000 to the value of that property. Sometimes it will be a bit more, sometimes it will be a little bit less. So what are we talking about in a refurbishment? We're talking about new conservatory. Maybe you're going to go into a loft. You want to be buying a property that's run down. Maybe there's some asbestos. You want to get worst house, best street. And 
ultimately what you want to be doing is maybe looking at new bathrooms, new kitchens, liquor paint, and this is how you add value to the property. Okay, step number three in this process is what we call refinance. And once you've bought the property, either with your own money or with an investor, once you've got a team in place, a, a building team to go in and do the refurbishment, what you then want to do is get your tenants in and then you want to refinance the property. Now, if you have bought the property with a mortgage, the new mortgage company, sometimes they say you can't refinance for a minimum of six months. So make sure you check this out with your broker, do your research. It may be that you've got to wait six months before you can get a new valuation and then refinance the property, which to be honest with you, by the time you buy the asset, you get your builders in, you do the refurb, you're not far off six months anyway. So let's fast forward six months. You've got your tenants in, they're paying your great rent. Maybe it's a single let or a multi-let type property. And you now wanna get a revaluation. So you'll call your broker, your broker will search the market, and then a surveyor will come out to the property. They'll look at what you've done, and you need to demonstrate that you have added value. So you wanna show them before and after photos. You wanna show them a bill of quantities and the work that's taken place. You wanna have a look at the local area and try and find some comparables of what the, tip, uh, of what the similar property is now valued at. This is really important to demonstrate to the surveyor that you understand what's going on. And then, you get a new valuation and then you can go and remortgage. So it's a three-step model, buy, refurbish, refinance. And depending on what you've bought it for, depending on your valuation, when you refinance, there's a good chance that you are going to get the house for free or you're going to leave a small amount of money in the deal. Let me explain this to you. So let's say, for example, you buy a house for a hundred thousand pounds. You get a 75% loan to value mortgage. So your deposit is 25,000 pounds. And let's just say that's a that's hundred thousand pounds all in. Let's just say you spend 12 and a half thousand pounds on the refurbishment that means your initial investment capital is 37,500 pounds. Now remember, that can be your money or it can be an investor money if they're coming in on the deal with you. You go, you do the work, you add lots of value, new kitchen, new bathroom, and let's just say the new value comes in at 150,000 pounds. So six months later, the surveyor says, yes, you've added value, and it's now 150,000 pounds. Okay, so I really hope you've enjoyed this latest uh, video on our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit subscribe and the notification bell. Make sure you stay tuned for more videos. Somewhere around here now, there are more videos to watch. So watch the next video. And remember, going out, just driving around your local area is a great way to find some really good hot property deals. I'm gonna spend the next hour or two just driving around the streets, seeing if I can find anything derelict. Stay tuned, I'll see you soon.